Hello everyone! Welcome back to my studio. Come paint with me. I'm actually running out of things to say on my intro. <laughs> when I edit my videos, I realize like I say the same things. I, I am happy that you're here. You know, like I, it's, it's the regular stuff that I say and then I'm like, I'll show you what it looks like dry. So I just noticed that one, I'm rambling right now, but two, <laughs> trying to switch it up, right? So I'm gonna be doing, I did a, a rainbow piece and um, I left out the green, lightened up my purple and my blue. And for this one, I want to swipe the entire background in colors and have a really colorful background and only swipe through all those colors with white. So normally I do it the opposite. I have like a base down and then I pour like little lines of colors and swipe them through, but this one's gonna be super colorful. So um, I'm gonna start and it's gonna seem kind of crazy when I do it, but this is just gonna be colors all around the canvas. And this is kind of like a trust the process type one. I'm hoping, oh my gosh, that these colors don't mix together to give me a bad color. I don't know that any color is bad, I will say. Oh, I should have done one in just warm colors and then one in cool colors, but Now here comes my blue and I'm just filling in the spaces at this point. And I still have my magenta and my purple, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Kind of did want a little bit more purple. Ooh, I do not care for that orange and purple color mixed together. Okay. All right, so now here is the magic. I hope this is gonna, I hope this is gonna work out. It worked in blues. I just don't know. Ooh, see, I don't like that orange in there. I should have stuck with, I mean, it's not bad. I should have stuck with maybe warm colors and cool colors. I like the extra pops that are in there. I'm already getting cells just from swiping right like this. There must have been some Australian Floetrol on my stick. So now I'm gonna swipe with the white and see what happens here. So I'm just gonna come straight through. I'm gonna try to cross over the colors that I don't really love that much. I think this is like the least messy I've been. <laughs> like my hands are still pretty good. My New Year's apron now has metallic from the three foot by three foot and two foot uh, painting that I did. And now I've got my ocean blues cause I did those as well. Oh wow, that's really pretty. That's a little bit more muted. Okay. Okay. I'm just like dripping everywhere here. I really like those rainbow colors in the middle, so I don't wanna really go over those cause I like the extra pops that are there. Okay, I like. This has some of those extra colors, so I'm gonna pour that off right there. Just a different way to do it. I wonder if you could do it ombre. That, oh, that is gorgeous. There's like all kinds of color combinations that you could do with this but swiping the background gives it a little bit more soft feel, blends the colors a little bit more, and 
when I do it with the puddle pour, you end up with like these big blocks of color and I like it that they're more kind of combined in there. So that's why I decided to do that. Okay, last little piece here. I'm gonna swipe. Got some green anyway. That will come off the edge, so I'm not like super worried about that. But I do feel like maybe one more little swipe. I know I said I wasn't gonna do that, but you guys know me. There, there, there. Okay, so I was worried because that orange and that purple do not like it, but We'll see how it stretches out. All right. I think it's still gonna be really cool. I'm just kind of upset because my favorite parts are right here and right here, and those are gonna go off the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this corner. I don't know, maybe I should go to this corner first because that's like my least favorite part. Ooh, I wanna keep that. Okay, now is the time that you can normally save a painting with parts that you don't like. I'm trying to get that to this edge. I don't know. It's the orange. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't even make it over here to this edge. <laughs> Just touch it with my finger. Drag it on down the canvas. Huh, what do we think? This orange color is like really throwing me off. It's like a burnt orange. I don't know. I may try it again and leave out the orange. Because swiping through like that, they just didn't blend well. So maybe I'll try it again. I mean, I'm still gonna see how this one dries because they dry darker and sometimes it becomes like a really rich, beautiful color instead of like this murky color, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm not, it's not out of the running yet. All right, I'll show you what it looks like wet. Okay, so like I said, it's not, the pieces of it are beautiful. Like look at that corner and there was no green in here. That's the yellow and the blue mixing together. Look at how bright and beautiful that is. Look at that section right there. I mean, the entire piece is gorgeous and I feel, I'll have to see how it dries, but I feel like that orange is not that bad. Again, this is gonna have to be one that I just let dry and we'll see how it turns out. All right.
I'll catch you in the next video. Let's see how this one dries. This one absolutely grew on me. I thought, oh no, when I originally swiped that purple and that orange. And it's still not a color that I would normally choose to put in a painting. But I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> Is that weird? I just feel like it blends them all together and it goes well. I love this little corner of like green that's here. And I love the touch of yellow that's up there. I like the little bright pops of cells and color. I don't know, I like it. All right, well you can let me know what you think. I think for the next time that I try, I'm gonna try to do an ombre background. So like maybe like a sunset coming that way. But we'll see. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.